Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and this is part two of my sticker stash video series. And these are the folders that I deem kind of boy themed or I mean there are several that could be go either way obviously but um, I kind of when I started I had pink and blue girl and boy and I had more room in the boy section than I did in the girl, so I have a lot of ones in the boy section that could go either way. So, all right, so this first folder is labeled dogs. And some more of those Dollar Tree. And some iron-on appliques which I don't iron on, I just glue them down to usually a piece of chipboard. And again, I got a lot of these sets on clearance. So, I like this one a lot. Um, so if I thought it was one I would use in a project, I grabbed it and threw it in my basket. So. I kind of like the color scheme of this set, the red and the kind of the teal blue and the lime green. Haven't used any of those yet, but someday I will. Now the downside about stickers is they're not what I consider a reusable resource, obviously. I mean, you get multiple stickers and you can do multiple mosaics because in general you're only going to use maybe three stickers. That's, that's the way I usually do it. Three stickers, three buttons, three charms. That's how I kind of try to space it out. So you're going to get a few, several mosaics from each set. But once you use them, they're gone. Um, same with the buttons and charms. Once you use them, they're gone. But um, but it is, you know, something different to look at on the mixed media mosaics. So stickers, buttons, charms, stamps, clay, wood, glass, mirrors, metal, uh, material, paper. Yep. I mean, I, I really take the whole mixed media aspect pretty seriously. So this is my cat folder. And... Some words. It's a cute little set. I like the colors on this one too. Apparently I'm drawn to like neon colors. I don't know. So, so that's my cat folder. And then I have a third folder labeled pets because I had a lot of sets that had cat and dog together. And I also put all the paw prints in here as well. So I have tons of different paw prints. These little Clear ones are great on mirror tiles, and I bought several packages of those when they were on clearance. So, and then there's some puffy ones as well. But see, there's cats and dogs on here, so. Okay. Some little stickers. I do these on cardstock. And I do the glass cabochons over them because they're the right size for the glass cabochons. So that's what I do with these. And with these as well. And then this is another one of those. There's several here and it's my favorite theme so I'm going to pull them out. Um, there we go. See that's actually all dog. See any cat stuff on that one, so that should really go in the dog folder. But the reason I didn't is because these kind of all play off each other, so. Yeah. Let me 
There's some cutesy ones. There you go. And again, those are from Michaels. They're the Createology. And they come in like a pad. A fun pad kind of feel, but I take the packaging off because don't need two big thick pieces of cardboard in here along with everything else I have. It's bulky enough as it is. So, all right. So that's cats, dogs, and pets. And I'm gonna trade these out and grab another handful. Stand by. next batch. This first one is labeled Hero. I also have a military folder as well, but I had a lot of, you know, these are pretty thick. So, that's obviously military with the dog tags. And that's pretty military as well. But in the military folder, they are branch specific. So that's why these are in here. And then these are just like courage sayings. And then some American flags and dog tags. So that's hero. And then this next one is military. These are also the clearance Michaels. So we have a uh, Coast Guard and Navy and Air Force and Army. There's some more Navy. There's some Marines. Some more Air Force. Air Force. And then the what do you call them? The ribbons. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but I didn't want to cut them down because I don't know without doing some research if, you know, if there's a certain way to, or if I need to leave it as a full strip. So, so that's military. And I did do an Air Force one recently. Um, if you guys go to my Quirky Cat Crafts Facebook page, there is a um photo album um in the picture section where i have pictures of all the mosaics i've ever made so if you're ever looking for ideas or inspiration feel free to go browse through that and feel free to copy steal or take inspiration from any of my ideas because i do not mind that at all or some doctor themed stuff. Um, I mean, that's why I do these videos and why I, you know, I, I was told by some people, you know, why would you, you know, put stuff out there for free? And I'm like, well, because I just want to share the joy. I'm not looking to make money off of this. So, some more nursing. Some more nurses. So. And this last folder in this section is entitled 911 because it is police, fire, police and fire. There might be ambulance in here too. I don't know. Fire. Yeah, and just fire. So fire and police. So. Although that's technically an ambulance, I guess. So. Alright. So that's that little section. 
hope I'm not going too fast. I have a lot to flip through, and I don't want this to be a two-hour video. So I'm going to put these back and grab the next batch. Okay. So this file is labeled sports. These are sports that I do not have a specific file for. So again, these were on clearance at Michael's. They were scrapbooking, uh, layouts, sticker sets. And so when they were on clearance, I grabbed a lot. So we've got swim team, track and field. Karate, lacrosse, and then a whole bunch of different um, sports balls, stickers. There's also shoes in here, and these heart stickers that are baseball, football, basketball, soccer. Okay, and then... This is a little bit of everything because you got touchdown, swing, home run, slam dunk. So that's why this set is just in the general sports folder. That catcher mask, that's really cool. Okay. Anyway. And then next we have baseball, which is personally my sport of preference. Those should not be out by themselves. Baseball. A lot of red and blue. I'm in Kansas City, so we've got the Royals. But we also got the Cardinals right down the road. Okay. I'm going to stick these in this one. So that's baseball. And I mentioned in the previous video I have buttons and stamp sets that go with the vast majority of these themes. And I don't know, I might do a, a share on my stamps and a share on my buttons. Let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing those. Because I've been collecting for five years and I have a ton of stuff. Like, I could make mosaics for the next 15 or 20 years and probably not run out of supplies. I went through a very bad phase of a couple of years of retail therapy. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, these are alphabet stickers, but because they're specifically football texture, I don't have them with the alphabet sticker sets. I have them in here with the football ones. So, um, just a choice that I made. Of course, we have football stickers. Helmets, some words, and this is, um, I mentioned these in the previous video when I showed the cheerleading one where it was uh, the megaphone, so like this is the football, so I just want to show you guys that like, see they're all stuck together. So, and you put that on a mirror tile, and that makes a statement. So, I'm actually going to, um, next time I do a Dollar Tree order, order a case of them. Because they come with, like, baseball, football, basketball, soccer ball, and cheerleading megaphone, and I don't know what all else. So, um, for those of you that don't know, you can order things from Dollar Tree by the case. It's usually $30 for a case of 24 of whatever. And you usually get a variety of whatever it is you're ordering. So it's not going to be necessarily 24 of the exact same item. So just FYI. Okay, this file has two labels on it because I wasn't going to do two separate folders. Because I only have a few basketball. And 
and I only had a few soccer. But yeah, I definitely want to get a case of those. For sure, for sure. So yeah, so I did one label on the front and one label on the back of the folder so that it still follows my the lining up of the labels because my OCD demands that. And then this is the same thing, but it's golf and hockey. So I actually did a project with this set of stickers and I filmed the entire project. So if you guys haven't had a chance to go back into my previous videos, um, I think that one was a pretty informative one. So, and then this is hockey. So, and then this is a question I get asked a lot. So I'm trying to mention it in every single video. The mosaics that I make, the glue that I use, I use, sorry, my head's probably in there. I use Weld Bond, which is good for wood, tile, glass, foam, stone, ceramics, and more. And this works really, really well. Um, you can get it at the craft stores. I buy the bigger bottles at the hardware store. And it's actually the same price for the bigger bottle at the hardware store as it is for the small bottle at the craft store. Um, and... So I buy three or four bottles at a time. And then the other type of glue that I use is um, Glossy Accents by Ranger. Um, this dries clear. I mean, the Weld Bond dries clear as well, but this, I don't know how to explain it. It, it This is better for gluing down like buttons and charms and things like that. Um, and then I use the Weld Bond on the backs of the tiles to glue them to the substrate, so. There. I'm trying to remember to cover that in every video because I get asked that question a lot. What kind of glue do I use? Okay. Okay. Our next folder is gambling themed. So obviously Las Vegas and I know that if you watched the previous video you saw I had a USA folder where I had state specific and technically Las Vegas should go in that I suppose but for me I know where it is if it's in the gambling section in my gambling stash so I say this a lot I know it's repetitive, but as long as your organization makes sense to you and you know where to find your supplies, that's all that matters. Okay? So that's gambling. Um, this is gaming, and by gaming I have like a cosplay set. I don't know, again, it was on clearance. Um, it says gamer, fandom, cosplay, anime. There's even a sticker that says steampunk in there. And then con for convention, I guess. And then, um, you know, like game controllers and there's little monster aliens. Those could actually go in the alien folder. But for right now, they're in here because they just make me think of a game, video game of what you're killing in the video games. So not much going on in that folder. Okay. And I got movies, just movie night themed, a couple of sets, not a whole lot going on there. Okay, vehicles. So I've got race cars. Tony Stewart set. I don't follow racing, but anyway. Um, this is a bike riding one. Like learning to ride your bike. Got construction vehicles. And tools. <laughs> this is a caution student driver. I got my license, hand me the keys. Give me a break to drive new driver at the wheel. 
So again, it's on clearance. They were like 67 cents for the set. I'm like, well, if nothing else, I'll use the, uh, the road signs and the cones. So, so I grabbed them up. Right, got a whole bunch of little, little, bitty, teeny, tiny ones. I have little glass cabochons that would fit over those. You can also do those on little mirror tiles as well. Also have some airplanes in here. Some off-roading type vehicles. And then... Yeah, so these are just all different kinds of vehicles. And yeah, I could sit here and like cut out the police car and put it in the police folder and, you know, cut out the fire trucks and put it in the fire folder. But I know where they are, you know, so as long as I know where they are. Same thing with these sticker sets. Which again is more of the ones from Michaels. Okay, so that's vehicles. Next one's labeled travel. So you've got some travel themed stickers from Dollar Tree. Some little random like arrows and this way and that kind of thing. Um, these were given to me. They're like resin. So. more words and then these are also like resin they're little postage stamps I don't know I don't know that they necessarily belong in here but tis what it is so these are just some staying stickers so this one is specifically travel. Pack your bags on the road again. And we've got some route, route 66, route 66. And some words where it's like, see where the roads take us. Trip of a lifetime, living in the moment, that kind of thing. So travel related. And that's that folder. And we have camping. Not a lot in this one, but got some trees, some picnic-y stickers, barbecue, tailgating. Hmm. That should potentially be in the sports one, but don't know. They could be fishing, I suppose. Of course, I have a fishing folder too, but that's a whole nother story. So, okay. And the reason these are in camping is because of the campers in the tent. So, not a whole lot in camping, but I do have stamp sets and buttons that are camping themed as well. I'm wondering if it would have been better to say, okay, here's all my fishing stickers, stamps, buttons, and charms all together. But, God, that would have been a long video. All right, so these are fishing related. Also a little bit of hunting in here, but I know that it's there. More fishing. Again, scrapbook layout stickers, so. Go put these back and grab the next one. Almost done, you guys. With part two. I hope this is inspiring, you guys. Maybe giving you some.
some ideas you hadn't thought of before. So, all right. Now we kind of have an animal section. So this is forest animals. These are actually like ephemera, but I have a sticker making machine um, where you run it through it. It puts adhesive on the back. So I can turn those into stickers, but and we got some owls and foxes. Put these here. Squirrel, hedgehog. These are more baby themed, but they are forest animals, so they're in here for now. But, but like, I go through everything before, I, you know, as I'm working on a project, I go through every folder and every box, because you just never know when you're going to find something that's going to work with a project, so. And these are birds. Owls and hummingbirds, and I don't know what those would be. Some kind of wrens or something, I don't know. Okay. Let me know if you guys want to see my stamp stash also. I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. Okay, this is farm, but it's also, it's actually a lot of horses. But, and cowboy. Rodeo. And some horses. Horsing around, haha. -ha. Some more horses. And then some that I don't know that I would ever use. Those, again, came with when I bought somebody's stamps off of them. So, I have several of these sets. So, I had to actually put them in a big sheet protector. But, um, it's a girl. Kind of girl. A girl and her horse kind of thing. I love my horse. Wild and free. Live, love, ride, best friends. You know, pink and green. It's pretty. So, I had intended to do some picture frames or something with those. And I have like, I think six of them. These are farm animal stickers. Farm stickers. Tractors and barns and cows and pigs and whatnot. And then, these are both Dollar Tree type stickers. So... Just depends. Again, this is very little kid. It would probably be for like a nursery or something. Kind of theme, but hey, why not? All right. That's the farm themed one. And we've got jungle. So these are some pop up stickers. So cheetah, gorilla, and antelope. Lions, pandas, uh, that's, I think that's like a gila monster, or dragon lizard or something, koala bear, yeah, tiger, anyway, um, thought these were really pretty and they were on clearance and I bought a bunch of them, where's my white paper, I keep losing my white paper, um, so they're just um, tigers and leopards, pumas, Cougars, that kind of thing. But I just thought the colors were really cool. And again, they were on clearance, so I bought what they had left. So I haven't used any of those yet. But I will, someday. And then we've got some crocodiles, or alligators, I'm not sure which. And then the, again, this is very like baby nursery type theme. And I have a lot of buttons and stamp sets that are along that line. But I know they're here, so. And that's what's important. Okay, and we got some elephants. And then we got some monkeys. Again, very baby, nursery like, but I don't know. And then, again, very baby, nursery type motif, jungle animals, okay? And we've got, because this makes sense, circus, because so many jungle animals are part of a circus. 
don't have a whole lot of surface stickers. I actually just have two sets, but um, yeah, cir circus, carnival fair kind of things. Clowns. Not a clowns fan. No offense to any clowns that are out there. But... So I have a folder for that. And then I've got dinosaurs. Most of these are Dollar Tree. And again, another big set. And then got some more back here. So, dinosaurs. And this is the last one, you guys. Space. Now, I used to have two folders, one labeled Monsters and one labeled Space. And I realized that monsters are technically could be aliens as well. So I put them in with the space ones. So we've got planets. There's a set of the monster stickers. Some aliens. Puffy stickers. Realistic space cadet. I guess that's like astronaut. Hmm. That might, might maybe, wow, possibly should be in with the heroes and whatnot, but I won't know to find it there. It needs to be in with the space stuff. So then we've got some rocket ships and planets and robots, which is the other thing in here. So it's robots, aliens, monsters, astronauts, rocket ships, planets, um, a lot of stuff covered in, in here. And, of course, these are several sets from the uh, Michaels. Huh, really a, a unicorn or a Pegasus unicorn astronaut? Sure, why not? Makes sense to me. Not so much. But... Okay. These are interesting. Some of them have googly eyes. These are Dollar Tree. This is mostly robots. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Ha ha. Anyway, okay, so this concludes part two of my sticker stash series, and part three will be coming up pretty soon. Until then, thanks so much for watching.